Hello everyone, this is Edgar from Brash Monkey and I'm going to show you two new pro features in Spryder version B9 and the first one is uh, clone special when you clone an animation if you want some extra options for instance let's say we want to use this uh, magic missile animation here from our GameFX art pack and you wanted to make a clone of the animation, you wanted to create several animations but you wanted them all facing in different directions and it's the starting point and then you would go in and customize the diagonal animation or the left facing animation or whatever. So next to the clone button there's these three dots. If I click on those then I can choose options for my animation clone and I'm going to choose 45 degree rotation and I'm going to choose for it to make seven additional rotated clones and I can also choose if I want to scale in the X or the Y which is very useful if I want to reverse the animation if I want to flip it on the X axis or I want to flip it on the Y axis I can just make a single clone of the animation and choose negative one for X or negative one for Y and then I have a new animation that's flipped to the side. So I'm going to choose 45 degrees uh, seven additional rotated clones and then it automatically makes those clones that I requested. Oh, I guess I should have made six. So an example of the uh, rotation option would be if I take this and then I'm going to clone it and uh, I'm sorry the scale option and I'm going to choose negative one for the X scale and then now my clone animation is the same animation plate in the opposite direction mirrored the other new feature of Spryder Pro B9 I wanted to show you was export to animated GIF. And export to animated GIF, you just go to file and where export animation to ping was, now it's export to ping or GIF. And I'm going to choose an interval of 20 milliseconds and I choose GIF as the output file option. And I can choose now another additional option to Spryder is that you can fill your exported pings and GIFs with the current canvas color background. So this would be gray, or I could change it to any color I want. Or if you leave it blank, it'll create a transparent GIF or ping. As you can see, it's the same dialog, and I have the same options that I have when I'm exporting to ping or sprite sheet as before. So I'm going to press OK. And then I choose an output file name. And then I go to my exported directory, and you can see that it exported it to an animated GIF. And so this is really useful if you're going to be sharing your animation quickly online. It's a fun and convenient way to share your animations with other people. And if you haven't already, you can go to BrashMonkey.com to purchase Spryder or to download the Essentials Edition. And thank you for watching.